I don't feel bad. Like now I'll accidentally have eight hour just chatting streams and they're some of the best streams we've ever had ever. Ever. Like. It's time. Wayne June is my love. Seriously, though. And the cool thing is, this game's so chill, we can talk through it. That's the best. I love games that you don't have to move. You can just, like, stop. Swanky, what's up? How are you? Dude, I've been playing a lot of Niflheim, and I got it on my, um, poor caretaker. Switch. I fear his long-standing duties here have affected him. Oh. And I was looking at the reviews, and it's got not, like, it's got mixed reviews. Some people really don't like that game, and I just, their reasons are really stupid. Like, the combat's not complex enough. The game's not about combat. To What's wrong with the you? the abyss, one must know it. Ooh, do we have a bounty hunter yet? Um, I don't know if I have either of those yet. No. I love man-at-arms, though. What's wrong with him? He'll never drink. Decent. The raw strength um, of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred Anubis, campaigns. good morning, my love. How are you? Oh, no problem, Brandon. I'll be here. But you modern gamers would fail Morrowind. Bitch, you talking to me? Morrowind's my favorite. I loved Morrowind. I actually have the Morrowind ESO box behind me. But Morrowind was, like, one of the best games. Not the ESO one. Well, the ESO one was really good, too, but, you know. I'm going to trash. Where is the fake Eliza? Nega Eliza. Nega Eliza's broken. And the other Eliza's doing well, so Suffer we're going to trash her. We're going to take that horse, guy. Nor the broken man. How are you, Anubis? I'm doing pretty good, dude. Um, Azula, my big, beefy tarantula, has been molting all morning. So I've had a very exciting morning of watching that and being nervous. Oh, yeah. Well, I think people are really spoiled. Like, so many games nowadays are really fucking easy comparatively. Compared to old games, like, you ever just try to play Mario? <laughs> Shit was fucking hard. <laughs> Mr. Arai, welcome to my channel. Welcome to my stream. My name is Glass Katie. It's wonderful to meet you, and thank you for that follow. All right, let's build our team. Good morning, Maribel, my love. How are you? I'm trying to think of like the hardest old school game I played. Donkey Kong, probably, for me. Donkey Kong was hard. Um, what are we gonna get? That's stun skill chance. What's this? Crusaders, who I hate. The Warrens are decent. Let's do the Weld. The Weld. Yes. New team. All right, so let's see. Yes, classes. Just had to lecture mom on how, because they asked me to, as a complete ass backwards reason for putting her password into a password reset form when she isn't even sure what website she's on. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Who wants to be this guy? I need a man at arms. They are amazing at repost, where they like hit people back. Oh, <gasps> Maribel. Sneaky, sneaky. Anubis, deal. Oh my Jesus, caps lock. Boom. We're gonna take Anubis, and then we're gonna take, we need a healer. We need to take Lix or Monkey, let's see. Ah, oh, I have to fix Monkey, shit. Well, is this one better? Maybe we'll trash this one and make this Monkey Jesus. Monkey, hey Zeus. This one's broken. Sorry. Bye. Those without the stomach for this place must move. Do I on. die in chat if I get killed in game? I mean, can you really kill what's dead inside? <sighs> Caffeine cheers. Timeouts in game? If you die in the game? Oh my god. No, I've never done that before. That would be so weird and sad because I kill so many people. <gasps> Mickey, let's cheers. Let's smoke weed about it. Yes, joy check. If none of you, if you guys forgot your joy today, this is an excellent time for a joy check. Take your joy, everybody. Did you take your joy today? Never forget to take your joy, and I guarantee your day will go as smooth as velvet. Cheers. 
cheers, lovers. I got new weed, but it's like nothing like I haven't got before. Um, I got a uh, Star Dog and Blue Mai Tai and Sumo Grande. <coughs> oh, it rhymed. I love the egg too. Isn't it cute? I like Mario. Speaking of Mario, Mario themed things are adorable. Ubis, you're gonna have to show us your babies. I think Monkey and Alex are gonna be harvesting theirs soon. It is from We Happy Few, yep. <coughs> Cooking burgers, yum. We made tacos last night. They were really good. Uh, crunchy tacos, homemade. But they were tasty regardless. <gasps> just plain Eric Hemper literally it's the one company that the weed company that I'm like sponsored with go to hemper.com and use the code classhole like just one word and you get like five to ten percent off but that's where the egg came from and it's dope actually my new Hemper box is out for delivery right now so I'm really excited Healer McKeeler face who the fuck did we name Healer McKeeler face <laughs> okay um let's see should we take Alex this time yes Yes, we should. We're going to take Alex. And let's take... Actually, let's take Monkey. Monkey and Alex can be together with Eliza and Anubis. Let's... We, you have to win for me. Dude, it's wild. Like, I can't get sponsored by a company, obviously, that sells literal weed. Because it's not nationally or universally legal. But they sell pretty much everything else. They literally even sell bud that's just straight H or um, it's just straight CBD. It's pretty cool. I really like them. I like hemper bongs. Most of them have been really, really dope. Every once in a while you get a bad one, but I mean, it's not as off. It's not so often that it bothers me. Um, so yeah, he's a stunner, and I don't want him to move though. Yeah. And then Alex will have this, and I want her to have her dodge, though. Oh, so wait, actually, she moves a lot, so we can put her somewhere, because she'll move back anyways. doesn't even matter. It's a blessing and a curse. It really is. Hi, Silverheart. How are you? <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Alex, I love your enthusiasm. <laughs> uh, let's see... No, I want Eliza to dodge. And I want you to dodge too. So we're just gonna, you're just not gonna get trinkets this time. It's fine. Overdroid Android, what up, motherfucker? How are you? No prawn meds, weed, or alcohol sponsors. Yep. Yep. Wait, did I choose the wrong one? The right one? Hold on. We were doing the weld. Oh, I hate how it chooses a different one. Fuck you. How you doing, honey bean? <gasps> Gov weed! How are you, love? It, I hate that ever since you told me people call you Gov Tweed, I want to call you Gov Tweed. I hate it. I wish I wasn't like this. <gasps> Cell phone, what up, honey bean? How are you? Hail Satan! Oh, Hail Andrew, Satan! I, I have like one hit left, but then I'm going to repack. I think I can get another hit out of this. Cheers, everyone. Oh, yeah, there's alcohol sponsors, but I've actually been sober for a year. That would make zero sense. Over a year now. Silverheart, you're never a downer, honey. Your feelings are always valid, even if they make other people in feel inconvenient or sad. That being said, you're always welcome to Lurky Lurk and just hang out and laugh. I love you, honey. <coughs> I always overpack for dungeons. I don't know why. It's just what I do. <coughs> but never without weed, no. Well, I have done a tea break. I've had, like, two tea breaks this year, but it was because I got sick. Like, I had really bad colds or migraines or something. So I would just do just CBD, but... Luck favors the prepared. If you're lucky enough to be Irish, you're lucky enough. A tea break is taking a break from weed. It's a THC break. 
It's good for people that smoke a lot like me, so it keeps your tolerance down. Sapping all good life from these groves. Breathe it, not Let drown it. <laughs> this evil. 14 months, dude, Glut. You and me both, dude. It's gonna be a race. Who's gonna make it the longest? It's literally just gonna be whichever one of us gets to go out and be social Nature first, I'm herself. sure. <laughs> a victim to the spreading corruption. Actually, um Malformed with missing. Scott cat. sent me a really cool link yesterday. There is a bar opening up in downtown Denver, and it's a horror-themed bar. So they make like Beetlejuice themed drinks, Jason themed drinks, things like that. And I want to go really bad, but like, I don't like alcohol. <laughs> I'm conflicted. <coughs> I don't avoid edibles. I like edibles, but I will only take them at nighttime because I never know when they'll kick in and how long they're going to lay me out for. So I would never take one at the beginning of the day because God forbid I had to go somewhere in an emergency or take my dog to the vet or something, you know? I wouldn't trust myself because I just, I can't judge them. Whereas smoking weed is totally different. It hits very fast and goes away pretty fast. So I can, I know what's happening. But with edibles, no. Nah. Doesn't that bar look fucking cool, right? Right, Glut, yeah. See, I'm never gonna go out. I need to take a tea break, but I use for chronic pain. So when I microdose, I can barely function. Dude, I mean, so what I do, um, mostly because like the act of smoking is such a daily thing for me, is I buy weed that is only CBD. And if you smoke for pain, you will still get rid of your pain because the CBD is what is handling your pain. It's not the THC at all. The THC is the psychoactive effect. So you can get bud that's literally just a lot of CBD and you'll still take care of your pain and stuff. You just won't get high. Dude, I know, Madmar, I am a wealth of the useless light, information, man. Useless information. It's it's wild. I it's not my favorite, but seriously, just like As the fiend falls, I can't remember what I did this morning. But I I have all these fucking strange ass facts about tarantulas and weed and shit in my head all the time. I don't know why. What the fuck? The difference, so, CBD is the um, part of the marijuana plant that is non-psychoactive. So like, you can smoke CBD, you can take CBD gummies, CBD vapes, and they will never make you high. Like, you will not get high. You take too much CBD, you're just gonna go to sleep. But it is the painkiller, you know? It's the painkiller, it's the relaxer. It's usually the medicinal part of marijuana that people are going for. THC, however, is the actual cannabinoids that cause the cerebral stoned feeling. <gasps> Eric just gifted a sub to Madmart. Madmart, you know you use a fucking butt wizard of the highest order. And fucking Eric, thank you. Oh, cuteness, did you? Yes. Um, seven minutes on Stream Raiders, by the way. And the battle after this one is a big, um, it's a blue box, loyalty box. And I know that's the one everybody wants. Their formation is broken. Maintain. CBD is offensive. incredible. I, it saved my life when I was having my mental breakdown, I swear to God. Before my, because meds for bipolar tend to take six to eight weeks to f fully take effect. So while I was waiting, I would eat CBD. Yes, CBD is mainly, so like, I'm sure you've heard of like, back in the day, they would say indica is into couch. It's not really real anymore because most weed doesn't have any CBD in it. They just strip the CBD out of it. But back in the day, indica weed would be very high in CBD and THC. So when you smoked, you would lock to the couch and be really, really relaxed. Without the CBD, all you have is the cerebral high and none of the tired lock feeling. Let's throw some, I gotta pack a bowl. Yeah, it's seriously, you don't feel like, a lot of people are scared to try CBD because they're scared they're gonna get some sort of head feeling. There's nothing. It's like taking an ibuprofen or something, you know what I mean? Like, you don't get a, a cerebral anything. It makes you sleepy if you eat too much, you know? And you get strains today that does whatever you want, really. It's pretty wild if you live in a legal area. I mean, Glut, I have those, the, the ones I got from um, hemp, hemp, Hemper, they're wrapped in hemp leaf, so there's no tobacco in them. 
But if you're scared of the habit, yeah. Oh, you get your first one? I get my second one on Thursday. I'm so excited. We're all getting there. Want to know one of the most surreal things about growing presence of legal pot entertaining the main entering the mainstream my initials are actually cbd so all this talk oh my god that's hilarious um similar story my initials are kf and my hometown was kettle falls so literally every single thing that was a team thing anything in my entire life had kf on it but then would say kf again like i looked like i was stuttering all the time it was very annoying everything kf kf like come on come on Omeprazole oh, is anti-depression. Or anti-acid. Omeprazole is, is um, yeah. Who said, um, who's on a, did someone say something about Omeprazole? Omeprazole is, um, what's the, what's the common name? Uh, Prilosec. Omeprazole is Prilosec, yeah. Yep, we have Omeprazole. You can buy it as just Omeprazole, or you can buy the brand name, which is Prilosec. I have some. When I get really, when my ulcer acts up, because I had to take painkillers or something. Give them no quarter. It's pretty dope. What is that? Oh, Crusader oh. only. Why is it for Crusaders? I fucking don't have one. Driven into the mud. Realistic. Dude, those commercials are hilarious. It can. So can Pepto Bismol can make your poops black. It's pretty alarming if you don't know it's coming. Um, how do I cleanse it? Is it this? Is it this? Is it this? This. Yes. It is much cheaper. That being said, if any of you do take antacids like Prilosec or Omeprazole, make As sure you're not taking them 24-7 all the time. Spirits are you want to, like, take a round of them and take a break. Made clear. You don't want to take them all the time. The black tongue can be pretty weird. Yeah, if you burp a lot, you can... I've never had the black tongue. Which is interesting. Pepto-Bismol definitely has activated charcoal in it. I don't know about the other shit. I think if you take it forever, there's something, it does something to your stomach. Like, I don't know if it's like you become reliant on it or something. Does anybody know? I'm not a drug nurse. I'm a lung nurse. So I'm not super, super up on that shit. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. I tried breaking from a Meprazole and it killed you. Yeah, some people got to live on it. My mom has GERD. She's got to take it all the time. I have a prescription was taking it every day for a month. I don't think a month is too bad. I thought you said black cum. Oh, I'd take a lot more Omeprazole if you got black cum. That'd be hilarious. It amused the folks running the rental place I had to use when my car was in the shop because the ne Oh, you were next to a dispensary. I want your initials. My initials are Kerf. In no way is that entertaining. It'll give you osteoporosis. Yeah, that's it. So thank you. You reminded me. So if you take Prilosec forever, your body won't absorb minerals act appropriately anymore. Like um, there was this big fad a while back Imagine where girls were taking charcoal pills, like literally born. capsules full of activated charcoal because they thought it was a detox or something, but it would absorb their birth control the in their crumbled. stomach because charcoal, it absorbs shit. So it's going to take a lot of nutrients through you. And so a lot of girls got pregnant. <laughs> it was pretty funny. Not funny, but funny. Your liver is your detox machine, my dudes. Don't buy into detox shit. Yes, it can fuck with your birth control. So can, um, if you're on hormonal birth control, I need to specify that. If you're on a hormonal birth control, activated charcoal can make you not get all of the drug. And so can... Um, Antibiotics. Like At any time, if you're on a Z-Pack, any kind of antibiotic for an infection, you need a condom or some other form of birth control because it's not doing anything. I don't understand why with the antibiotics, but I know that for a fact. I've had so many bitches come into the hospital to get pregnant off that shit. Yeah. Alert. See, we're all about education. Yay. If only oh. treasure could staunch the flow of otherworldly corruption i'm gonna corrupt your dick in a minute sir um what do we got let's toss some shit this is a really short dungeon i didn't realize it was so short that's good though i appreciate you holes i learn shit from you guys all the time 
I will never falsely inform you of something. If it's outside my scope of practice, I'm not gonna lie to you. That's so unsafe. First time I had I made homemade edibles, I legitimately thought I was dying. Dude, that's what I tell people all the time. A lot of people when Colorado went legal were ending up in the ER because they were doing edible. Everybody for some reason thinks edibles is the way to go for your first time. I don't know where that came from. It is not, don't do that. But people, like, weed has never killed anybody, ever. There is no proof that marijuana has killed a person. But you're gonna wanna die. <laughs> you will get so fucked up, you will want to be deceased. Like, see, exactly, that's me too. Like, I literally have Pepto-Bismol and, and Prilosec, and it's for very specific usage. I wound up in a time loop. Oh my god, cake. Time does the thing. Time does the thing. It does it to Eliza and I all the time. I used to text Eliza and be like, is it day, is it morning or evening? Because time is doing the thing and I don't know. Because I'd go outside to smoke. I didn't smoke in my house because my ex didn't smoke and he hated it. And I'd be looking at the sky and it'd be like that twilight moment, you know? And I just would have no fucking idea what time it was. It was weird. The wounds of war. Yep, panic attacks and shit. Yep, you'll feel dead. But never hit me. Time does the thing. It is so weird and it's this terrible. I hate it. Yeah. <gasps> Eight cities. Eight months in a row. Thank you so much for resetting the class, keeping the class alive, and giving it any swings. Cheers to that. I still have more hits in this bowl. It's crazy. Anime, did I tell you that story? I watched a Vice documentary on this kid. He got busted for... Seize this momentum. Actually, I think it was possession, possession of weed. End. And so he had to go to jail for a while. And then when he got out of jail, he had to be on probation. And so his probation officer would pee test him constantly. So because he couldn't smoke weed, he started drinking for the first time in his life and became a raging alcoholic at the age of 19. It was so sad. I, I was disgusted by it. <coughs> yes. Good job, Alex. Feel shiny. Isn't that the saddest thing you've ever heard? It broke my heart. Like, the fact that... Why do people really, really, really feel Ambushed weed is so dangerous still mentioned. when alcohol quite literally murders? I mean, it's poison. I'm not against alcohol, but it's poison and no one can tell me it's not. I... A fortune. It, it's so Waking dumb to, to me. Spent. And it's the same, like, I've known so many people who can get off pain, prescription painkillers when they get a good routine of marijuana, um, medical marijuana on board. And, like, those painkillers quite literally kill people. I have, two, I have two siblings who were critically addicted and dead now. Like, it kills you. It makes you crazy. And you're a murderer, your grandma for a joint. That's so weird to me. It's so weird, because alcohol... Alcohol is just insanely socially accepted. That's the only thing that makes alcohol out there. It's so bad for you. In any way, shape, or form. It's crazy. I thought the whole reason weed was outlawed was to kill off the hemp industry. I read that it was outlawed. They used it as a propaganda against Mexican people and people of color. They would say, there were like ads that would say, see the brown man acting wild on his cannabis marijuana and stuff like that, and there was all this reefer madness, yep, they used it as a whole, like, that was part of the incarceration of colored people thing, yeah, it's pretty fucked up. I love drinking yummy poison, King Katie, what up, Austin? Not to be a downer, but legit, alcohol's dangerous. I had an alcoholic friend who passed last year, I'm so sorry. Liver and kidney were so damaged, he couldn't handle a bacterial infection. My dad died, my dad is dead because of alcohol, like, I'm all, I have no problem with people casually drinking, but the problem is most people don't, we, we binge. We're very much a binging society on everything. We binge food, we binge Netflix, we binge everything, and we binge weed. I mean, alcohol bad. Lixie, I don't know, actually. Me too, Asidious. I haven't drank in over a year because I have weed. I don't need it. I knew a girl in high school named Becky who once smoked over 900 marijuanas and died. She looked a lot like Taylor Swift, but her name was Becky. Poor Becky. I know ways that marijuana can kill you. You could be crushed by a crate of a thousand pounds of marijuana. It could That could kill you. Um, someone could break your bong and shank, your, shank you with it. That could kill you. Ways marijuana can't kill you is smoking it. 
the most dangerous part about marijuana is getting caught with it, and that's sad. <gasps> I was on tramadol and hydrocodone for 10 years. From 18, THC CBD have been a godsend for not ever wanting to go back to them. You make my heart so warm. My God. I understand addiction. Like, I totally get it. I've lost two siblings, and one of my siblings is still on painkillers all the time. Uh, they're horrible, I get it. But addiction is something we can't ever judge. You can never judge someone with addiction. That is such a horrible mental disease. And it's so stigmatized in our country that these people are even scared to ask for help. It's so sad to me. I think I'm allergic to marijuana, actually. It makes my nose stuff up. I might, if I like um, touch my weed and then touch my nose, my nose will itch for six hours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I'm actually really happy I hate painkillers. The few times I've been on them in my life for, like, injuries, I don't like feeling foggy-headed, and weed has never done that to me. I've never felt like I can't think straight. I can still make a conscious decision on weed. But painkillers, man, I don't even know what year it is. Really, Serena Gain? For any reason, or just fuck it? Really cake? Damn, I've never tried tram at all. I think I've only been on like oxys. Whatever they give you for like injuries. Shit. All I'm addicted to is these sodas and other sugary drinks, man. Addiction, like I've had heroin addicts tell me that it's harder to quit cigarettes than heroin. I need you to write shit down. No shit cake, man. I actually love reading a book when I'm high. I get really into it. Kill this fuck. Oh, we have a button? Okay. Let's finish this guy off, and then we'll push the button. Pixelated, don't get down on yourself, man. Everybody has a sin. I feel like people really like to villainize cigarette smokers, but sitting and eating fried food every day is just as bad, if not worse, for you. But that's not stigmatized. Yourself that you know? Is a slow and insidious killer. People love to... It's the same with, like... In the hospital, if you're obese, they will try to associate every illness you have to being obese. There are so many other things in your life that we're doing every day that are extremely unhealthy for us. Very unhealthy. We do it all the time. But I think villainize, people like to villainize certain groups. I would never make anyone feel bad for being addicted to anything. Addiction is horrible. And it can be fucking genetic. Like, having an addictive personality can be genetic which is terrifying. I'm so glad I'm not addicted to anything that I'm aware of, other than like the habit of smoking weed, because my whole family is dead to alcohol or drugs. All of them are addicted to shit, like everything. You feel nothing from edibles? Damn. I used to be a pack a day cigarette smoker. The hardest thing I've ever done in my life was breaking that addiction. I haven't smoked in like 15 years and I still miss it almost every day. Most people do. I hear that, yeah. It never really goes away. My mom, she hasn't smoked since I was born, and she says every once in a while she'll smell a cigarette and want it. Nicotine lozenges worked well for me, but the time I finally quit smoking, I did it cold turkey. That's what I've done. Like, I've picked up cigarettes a few times in my life when horrible shit goes down, and I'm just like, fuck everything. And cold turkey always works best for me. I don't know why. Some people can't do it. Some people, it really stresses them out. No shame. Snooze is legal? What is snooze that like shredded shit you put in your lip? If you're fat, all your medical issues are your own fault. And if you just lose the weight, you'll be fine. Yes, it's bad. It, there's a huge stigma in hospitals for that. And you, I, I've seen nurses and myself catch doctors and be like, okay, not everything is due to obesity. Let's look at some actual lab numbers. Thank you. And prove the doctor's 100% wrong. But they, they want to look for the easy, they're always looking for the common easy diagnosis. And being grotesquely obese is really bad on your body, but it Back is not the, the end all be all of health issues. Snooze is disgusting. I think chewing is gross. My whole softball team chewed tobacco. Except one girl, it was me and one girl named Amy, and we would sit and have sunflower seeds and just these girls would just, Chew at what? Like pretty girls chewing. It was so gross. I spit all the time. I don't like to. It's not a choice. When I was in college, I had several moments hanging out with folks where I'd be getting drunk and smoking some cheap cigars. One morning I woke up afterward with a headache and had a thought. 
I could really use some nicotine right now. I froze dead, grabbed the packet of leftovers, and chucked it.